In this recording, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Mad Libs program in Alice using text string variables. A string will hold text, symbols, commas, numbers, anything that you'd like, and it will display it exactly the way you have it. We're going to create several variables. Our first variable will be name. Our second variable will be animal. Our third variable will be color and our fourth variable will be noun. We'll get these from the users and plug them into our Mary Had a Little Lamb poem, creating our own version of Mad Libs. So we're going to begin by creating our local variables. Our first local variable will be a text string. We will call it name and we'll initialize it to nothing called null. It's an empty string. Our second string, again a text string, will be named animal. And again we will initialize it to be null. And we'll have a third string, text string, which we will name color and initialize to null. And our final string will be noun, also a text string, which we will set to nothing. All right, we're going to need to put somebody on the stage. To ask our user Look carried away there. So we have our initial character on the stage to talk to our user. Now we're going to need to actually get strings from the user. Strings are found under functions, and we're going to use get string and we'll prompt the user please enter a name we'll get another string from the user we will prompt them to please enter a type of animal Get another string from the user. Please enter a color. Get a final string from the user. Please enter a noun. Once we have all of these strings, we just need to save them back. So we're going to have Wadena say space. I've got to put my quotes in first in space because I'm going to have to put in the variable in front of it. Had a little space quote. Now we need to add to this. We want to put something in front of it, and what we want to put in front of it is the name. Plus other string, had a little. And at the end, we want to add animal. And let's test it and make sure that's working. Margaret, horse, pink, chair. Now it's only going to say the first line. Margaret had a little horse. Oh, I've got the quotes in there. 
So we need to change this. to space had a little because they're already putting the quotes up there for me but I need to put a space on either side and it also wasn't lasting quite long enough so I want it to be there for two seconds now I can have her say the next line other string little space and we want to add animal oops little space and we want it to be little plus animal then little plus animal plus other string and here we're going to have to put in our comma space little space I keep making the mistake I'm replacing it little space little plus animal little plus animal plus other string comma space little space and we need all of that plus animal. So the poem goes, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. We can copy this because it's the exact same line. I'm using control to copy. Mary had a little lamb. And then our last line, whose fleece was make sure to leave a space and then we're going to add color and then we're going to add another string to that space as space and then we need to add our noun to the end did it again undo animal. Nope, we wanted a noun at the end. There we go. So that's our whole poem. That's really the whole program. Let's try it. Jerry, cat, pink, balloon. Jerry had a little cat, little cat, little cat. Jerry had a little cat whose fleece was pink as a balloon. That works. That's how you do Mad Libs.